However, they can be found in many different it's cities. It's in the entrance? No, it's in the basement. If you happen to come across these then, today, come they are probably not being used. Hey guys, love guys. Today we are going to watch mysterious home features no longer used in USA. So I know USA would have a lot of features because in India also I remember like there was used to be a gas uh, heater, room heater. And that was a very interesting one. You used to do, do, do this and again and again. Now it's all electric. So of course that is something I miss. Like he is seven years old. I really don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so because I have also been to a house that has that is very old than what I was. Oh, you know, but I like I just love vintage houses. I just love vintage things. Like I have like my whole Instagram filled of that. I used to watch that those you know that cottage core things mm. and all such things. I just love vintage houses. Yes, yeah, so it will be very interesting to watch. So let's start the video. If you have hey. ever seen these on the outside of a home, what then you that? thought they were just decorations, but they do in fact have a purpose. They are called wall plates and are made wall from wall cast plates. or wrought iron. These plates are evenly distributed throughout the outside of a home and are connected to rods that run through the walls. So what? Oh. They were used to help stabilize walls and help prevent them from bowing outward and collapsing. Stabilizing walls? Modern construction practices and technologies have made them obsolete. Yeah. Have you ever seen a door in a weird spot in the back of a house? <coughs> no. Perhaps it led into the pantry or a little room that may have had another door leading into the house that also <laughs> oh, locked. Wow. This was called an ice door. This is so fun. It was an access door the ice delivery man used when he delivered fresh ice. Oh, wow. Back then, there weren't any refrigerators, only ice boxes which relied on ice to keep things cool. Wow. You may have heard some in your family call refrigerators ice boxes. And that's all because of the history of using ice in ice boxes. <laughs> Landline telephones used to be an essential form of communication. Yes, not no However, more. These phones were not always. I small. used to love them. Homes used to have little phone nooks or shelves that were built into the I've wall, never used and phones them, were placed inside I've them. Used. Today, not this one. Not this one. one. Not this one. Phone one I've used that most of the time, one. it's just used as a place to store mail or a plant. If you live in an older home, then oh. you probably have a lot of these all over the place. The cables. Maybe they're in the kitchen, oh, living room, and bedrooms. Yes. These landline phone jacks are certainly an item of the past thanks to the cell phone. Is it risky? No. Depending on where you live, you may have seen these tiny iron doors. They lead to the basement and were used by the coal delivery man who Ooh. went door to door delivering the necessary items so that people could heat their home. Oh, wow. He would shovel the coal into the door and it now would it's run not down needed a chute today. into the basement. The homeowners would then shovel the coal into the furnace. Natural gas and electric heaters have made these That's a so thing fun of the way past. To do it. If you live in an older home that is multi-story, then you may have had a laundry chute. I've seen this. These laundry were chute. brilliant, and you didn't have to worry about taking your clothes downstairs to the laundry room. Like, bring this back. Just throw it into the chute, and Ascension. it would slide down there for you. Wow. Why these became a thing in the past, I do not know. You actually. I really think they should come back. That's yes. good. Some modern homeowners and new homes are having these created after they move in. Oh, that's a... Fun. If you were ever in a home that was built prior to World War II, then it is possible you've seen a random toilet in the basement. <laughs> what is really strange about these toilet is the that there are no walls around them. Why? Or at least historically there wasn't. Oh, they may or may not have had a sink no or privacy. shower there. But these were called Pittsburgh potties. <laughs> the purpose of them was Pittsburgh to allow the steel potties. workers and miners a place to clean up following oh, a long these day were of for work. The workers. They would enter the basement and clean up before entering the home to avoid tracking in grime. Oh. The name Pittsburgh Potty might lead you to believe that these were only in Pittsburgh. Oh. However, they can be found in many different it's cities. It's in the entrance? No, it's in the basement. If you happen to come across oh. these then, today, come they are probably not being used. At least I hope not. This is how is electrical that? wiring was done between 1880 and 1930. Oh, for wiring. The single insulated copper conductors ran within the wall but or ceiling cavities. There would be fear of electric shocks. Through yeah. joist or stud drill holes with porcelain insulated tubes. For support along the way, porcelain knobs were nailed down. If you look at it now, it just looks like a fire hazard. Yes. Have you ever seen a bed come from the ceiling? <laughs> There are no. a few of these coming back in tiny loft apartments that are brand new, but for the most part, they are a thing of the past. 
Originally, they were a competitor to the Murphy bed, which would fold up into a closet or a wall to save floor space. Oh. These ceiling beds, or soilian beds as ceiling they were called, bed. were supposed to free up the wall or closet space. But the that is good, like you have the whole space for yourself. And it was lowered by a crank with hidden weights in the wall, which worked to counterbalance the bed. Wow. Once it was down, some folding legs could be extended so the bed was properly grounded. Push-button light switches may seem sort of fun or luxurious, but they certainly had their problems. Why? The biggest one was the buttons getting stuck in either the on or off position. Mm. Oh. These switches were around in the late 1800s and were used but in we the But we have that now also. Push-button lights. You may have seen these strange cast iron things near the front door of someone's house and wondered what they were. Okay. These are boot scrapers. They were more Ooh, common in times where there were no boot. paved roads and oh. you may have trotted through some mud or horse paddies. Oh. People certainly didn't want that in their homes, so you no, would scrape it off know. and leave it on their the porch. thinking about nice. making that out. Roads and transportation so nice. made these less popular. Root cellars at one time were a necessary thing to have. People needed a place to store their vegetables, fruits, and other perishables for longer periods of time. Some of these were Bring built this into back the ground also. outside of the home, while others were just simply basements. Modern refrigerators have rendered these unnecessary. Um, now but now they can be made into fun I'm basements. sure many people have seen these if you've ever lived in an old home that had a medicine cabinet on the wall in the bathroom. Oh. These tiny slots were there so you could dispose of your old razor blades after shaving. Oh, wow. Some of these old houses have tons of razor blades under the house or stuck inside the wall. Huh? Oh. Dumb waiters are certainly not something that everyone had. First off, you would need a home that was older and had different levels. The purpose of them was to move dishes and food back and forth between the kitchen and the dining room, oh, which so would be on different old. levels. I'm sure many kids climbed up into these for a little elevator fun. Oh, wow. If you ever take a tour of a historic home or live in one, then you may have seen a tiny set of stairs coming off of the kitchen or pantry. These Why? were used by servants so that they could stay out of sight. Nowadays, oh, servant stairs are probably only installed on cruise ships. Mm. Something else no, that you may notice in done. these historic homes are servant floor buttons. They were no, placed in the dining room in the middle of the floor. When pressed, it would summon the butler. Most of the time, oh, these are so rich by thing, a no? table. Blue room, green room. It's like you ever noticed these and wondered thinking. what they were? Mm. Some may know, but most people watching have probably never had milk delivered. These oh. were called milk doors, and the milkman would deliver fresh milk through them as well as pick they have up doors the for everything. Models. Everything. Cold delivery doors. If you the older for home, the you'll often see these panels of glass. They are found above doors and are called transom windows. I have seen this. Before the days of electricity, they would allow in natural light to illuminate the hallway or interior rooms. Mm. Natural light is Some of these important. windows open to allow circulation of air. Mm. Electricity has made these unnecessary, but mm. some people are electing to have these placed in new homes. Yeah. Natural light is na always a good thing. Nice. Mm. Picture rails or molding became common in the mid-1800s. The purpose of the rails was to allow the homeowner a way of hanging a picture without damaging the plaster walls. Oh. A movable hook could be placed anywhere along the rail and a picture would just simply hang below. That's a nice thing. By day. the wow. 1940s, this trend became outdated and people weren't afraid to hammer into the walls. Oh. Intercoms can still be found in many homes and apartments from around the 1970s era. Intercoms. Some of these intercoms may have been used between rooms and different levels of a home. Oh, it was also we never had on that. the outside to see who may be at the door or the gate. Nowadays, people just use their cell phones and smart uh, doorbells. No, but in India still many buildings have intercoms. Have you ever wondered why older homes have oddly shaped rooms or many different rooms? There was a purpose to not having an open concept of modern homes. It may seem strange now, but it added privacy if guests came over. Mm. More importantly, closed doors between rooms helped to heat and cool smaller and more often used areas of the house without oh. wasting energy in places you weren't using. Mm. Pocket doors were a great way to have a more open floor plan, yet have a way of closing off an area when it wasn't yeah, so used. If you want to close. This is one feature wow. that needs to be brought back and made more common yes. in newer homes. So a lot of interesting things have gone out and something should be brought back like even the end 
what we saw was those doors i think so those doors should be brought back because they is, they are very very good because they can cover everything and they can open and i think so in india also some houses have that but yes i think so they are expensive you know for me the major thing is that sunlight to be honest you know in in modern houses there is a lack of sunlight you know all the way buildings and these and it, it, like if you are living in a row houses mm. area then you are like getting a sufficient uh sufficient sunlight and if you're not getting it you can have the deficiency of vitamin d <laughs> <laughs> yeah that can be a problem so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.